for me, mastering was a huge help when I could start assigning that. It helps guide them to help them understand what they need to study. I do three lectures a week and I do a pre-assignment for each one, which is about 10 or 15 minutes long, just to make sure they've read the material. And then I do a weekly review session that, that's due on the end of the weekend of the previous week's work. I personally prefer, I like the tutorials and the activities because I think they're more engaging and they give more feedback. I also use the adaptive follow-ups feature which is available um, if you just check a box you can um, allow students that get below a certain amount to redo some of their points by doing further questions related directly to what they missed. And I actually have had students come up to me and ask for more of that. The, the other thing about mastering is it, it, it's a central touch point for so many different things. You can assign them interesting New York Times articles, things that make them realize that what they're learning is super relevant. There's a cool section at the end of the questions called misconceptions questions. And to me, th that, those misconceptions questions, questions based on student misconceptions, are really the most important thing. Because you can kind of see when you're looking out there at that sea of faces and you're kind of looking into their brains, you're thinking, where is something going wrong here? And when you look at what they're having as misconceptions, you, you see where, where something's going wrong.